Hello, this is Chris Smith with the Eagle Tribune, Eagle Tribune sports writer and author of the blog Smitty on Baseball here talking about the Boston Red Sox as usual. The question of the day, what can Red Sox fans expect from catcher Jared Saltelamakia in the 2011 season? I think this is a very difficult question question to answer. I mean, what can we really expect from him offensively? There's a lot of expectations that we have for certain players. I mean, we all know that, that what Kevin Euclid can do offensively. We all know the type of on-base percentage he can produce, the type of average he can do, produce. We all know what Dustin Pedroia can do as a former MVP. We all know how many bases that Jacoby Ellsbury can swipe. We all know how many triples um, Kyle Crawford is capable of hitting. We all know the type of average and the type of power that Adrian Gonzalez is capable of hitting for. However, we really don't know too much about Jared Saltamaki at this stage of the game, what he's capable of doing this year. It's kind of like the wild card in the Red Sox lineup. He's the big question mark, the wild card in this Red Sox lineup. However, I think it's important to realize that he's not going to be expected to produce or reproduce the type of offensive numbers that former catcher Victor Martinez, who's now with the Detroit Tigers, produced with the Red Sox the past year and a half. He's not going to be expected to hit a hundred or more, hit in a hundred or more runs. He's not going to be expected to hit in twenty, twenty or more home runs. He's not going to be expected to hit for a three hundred or better average. He's not going to be expected to bat third in the Red Sox lineup. He's going to be expected to bat eighth in the lineup, likely. I would assume that he's going to bat eighth in the lineup. Lineup. I would expect that Marco Scudero would bat ninth as that second leadoff man. So Jared Saldanagi will be expected to bat eighth. He'll be as all Red Sox players are expected to do, hit for a pretty good on base percentage, you know, get his walks, take his walks once in a while, get his hits, and, and see what he can do. Just go out there, have some fun, try his hardest, and see what he can do. I don't think there's that much pressure on Jared Saltalamaki because of what the moves that the Red Sox made to bolster the rest of the lineup around him. He's really not expected to be the big run producer in the lineup. The Red Sox got Adrian Gonzalez from the San Diego Padres in via trade. They signed Kyle Crawford to fill that middle of the lineup to fill the middle of the lineup and make that, that lineup powerful in, in the middle. So I think that really there's not too much expectation on Jared Saltamaki to have a big standout year. He's just got to try his hardest, go in there every day, have fun, do his best. He's a guy that was very highly touted at the beginning of his career. He was actually drafted by the Atlanta Braves in the first round, 36th overall of the 2003 amateur draft. He had a pretty good rookie season in 2007. His totals for his rookie season were 11 home runs, 33 RBIs. He hit for a 266 batting average, a 310 on base percentage between both Atlanta and Texas. He had better numbers in Atlanta before he was traded to Texas. He had a 284 batting average with a 333 on base percentage there. However, his numbers dropped when he was with Texas. I think he's just got to go out though there this year, have some fun, see what he's capable of doing, see if he's capable of becoming that catcher he's thought he could be, that everyone thought he could be um, at one point. And I think he's just got to you know go out there and, and do his best and and you know bat for a high on base percentage. You know try to take those walks, be a patient hitter like the Red Sox like. And we'll see what he can do. All right, this is Chris Smith, the Eagle Tribune, Eagle Tribune sports writer and author of the blog Smitty on Baseball, saying I hope you all have a great Thursday. See you back on the blog tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.